and welcome to Eternium Patch News uh, PC version 1.5.48 I believe there's a slightly lower version rolling out on other platforms uh, which isn't going to contain everything that's in the PC version uh, which you probably consider yourself lucky because if, if some of these things go in on mobile it'll be an absolute nightmare um, so, jumping in, blindingly obvious for PC players is this um, new UI which is going to cause problems when you're playing with these massive great pop-ups appearing as you move your mouse around one slight move in the wrong place and you're going to have that pop-up. Uh, it's going to limit the amount of vertical space where you can click which is the biggest problem um, so that is a major change on PC uh, I don't believe they're going to put that out on mobile I hope not um, there is a further bit that will go on top of this to even to further reduce the um, vertical play space which I'll demonstrate shortly um, so beyond that which is pretty bad uh, we do have a good thing at least um, now under settings for pc customize input and you've got key bindings that you can set um, so that's new in this version it's quite nice that you can now look at inventory just by pressing i Bring up quests just by hitting J even though they have added quests to the toolbar for whatever reason um, I'll move that off there for a the moment so I can press I and bring up the inventory pressing I again doesn't close it as it would in other games escape will get out of there J and escape um, another thing that they've done game for PC is if I hover over things we can see that they get a silhouette appear around them um, that's probably going to make it easier in trials if you want to target a specific mob um, but it does show some interesting things such as the arena here that uh, you can see how they've built this display and we've got two separate we've got a couple of swords sitting there and then we find out that that arena itself is some buried tower looking at that outline we've just got the top of it showing above the ground um, whether they intended it to have that silhouette or not I don't know um, something that will be I believe in all versions when it's out is if I go back to inventory um, we've got more new icons appearing um, fire lily has changed to whatever that's supposed to be um, that looks like a different icon now for that particular regular bracer um, so I think we're going to be seeing those roll out across all Sys all platforms um, if I do jump into as high a trial as I can be bothered with this season or so far this season um, so as I mentioned we can see icons we can hover over them they're all in T poses <laughs> even if the, the actual mob itself isn't so you, so for PC potentially there's a, another advantage being added, added um, with the disadvantage that that's going to be appearing if you bring your mouse down too low. Um, your troll timer is now appearing above this icon, little set of skills. Um, I'm not too concerned about having them across the bottom I know people saying oh well, they're, when they were, used to be here 
um, and you could just glance there and see other skills and effects on you here and the enemies up here um, this is more like what you'd see in traditional MMORPGs with your skills across the bottom um, so it's probably going to take a bit of getting used to um, having this completely unnecessary in trolls or in story mode absolutely no need for, for any of that to be displayed so if they were concerned about trying to create space for play that is not not needed at all and this is really taking up far too much room um, oh have we engaged them there we are let's get out I will abandon that it's too difficult troll to um, probably a bit jumping around if I go back in on the inputs let's just change I don't know ability one so I just change that to L um, if we go in on the ability screen we've now got our key mapping showing against the various skills as well so that's a Another little change that shows L there. I'm going to reset that back to 1, which is what it was. Uh, just hit the reset button. Toggle map. Does that switch it on and off? Was that T? I can't remember now. <laughs> Tell this is very well planned. No, it's not T. Settings. Tab. Ah, to bring the map up. Ah, which reminds me, one last thing. Um, we used to have the button to show troll stats. It doesn't appear anywhere. Um, anymore so you'll need to remember your key binding for that so the default is F5 which will bring that up here um, I think that covers everything for this video um, in terms of upcoming content on the channel um, I've been taking a bit of a backseat on Eternium lately for a few reasons one was uh, I still haven't ended the events for bronze and silver so I've still got a five star this character plus there's another account with character needing to five star um, so I won't be playing gold um, there will be some viewer requested videos so I've written a script ready for um, ELR mage skill rotations that's done um, there's been a request for uh, overview for returning players I think that's a brilliant idea so I shall make that one as well um, there's someone I can't remember their name uh, it was a comment in Spanish talking about um, struggling to craft rings and things so what I think I'll do is probably a two-part jewelry crafting thing one showing uh, the sort of jewellery that I'd make during AMB and get to talk about how to uh, sort of how how the jewellery crafting process goes and then we'll go and make a, a perfect item as well which could be a separate video depending on the length of the first one um, so that's where we are um, changes for this this patch some good some pretty horrible um, we have to wait and see how it pans out it seems that for PC the devs have decided to deliberately degrade the experience um, for whatever reason whether that's to drive away uh, their veterans and let new players have a chance uh, we shall see um, any questions or comments feel free to put them down below and I shall get back to you there thank you very much for watching